Hello everyone, my name is Eric Chastain with FrameCAD and today we'll be taking a look at how to use the section line and elevation line tools within FrameCAD structure to create sections and elevations from a model. Um, so to get started, if we go to structure, we can go down to miscellaneous and there you'll find the elevation line tool and you'll also find the section line tool a little bit farther down the list. Uh, from the structure ribbon here, we can find those tools here under structure viewing. You have the section line tool and the elevation line tool. And if we want to use the shortcut commands, um, the respective shortcuts are section line. Um, so there's the section line uh, shortcut. And the other one is simply elevation line. Now, something to note about these commands is their IntelliCAD commands. Um, so, because of the way IntelliCAD handles scaling, um, depending on your sheet size, um, your scale, things like that, you could have some odd scaling issues when you run some of these commands. Um, now, the section line and elevation line command are ran from the model space. So, if I pop over here, I have my 3D model. Um, and generally, I cut these from the top view. So, I'll go to view, 3D views, and set this to top. And here we can begin setting our uh, sections and elevations. So I'll just use the section line tool first to cut a section. Um, and again, that's because of the scaling, we can say okay here. And what I'll do first is specify a start point. So I'll left click for my start point. I'll select my next point with left click. And again, I'll finish this command with right click. So you can see it cuts my section. And now in the command line, I'm being asked to insert a, or specify an insertion point. So just somewhere off over here to the side, I can left click and it'll then paste that the section cut through my, my project. Um, if I repeat that through the top here, so I'll go section line, um, I can select here. Uh, if I don't want to go all the way through my building, I'll just select here and finish that with left click. And then again, I'll specify the insertion point. So I get a smaller section cut through the building, as you can see there. And last but not least, we'll use our elevation line tool to cut an elevation. Um, so I'll select my tool here. Um, in the command line, it asks me to start a point for an elevation line. I can select the finish point for my elevation line. And then uh, it, just like the section cut, it's going to ask me to specify an insertion point. So I can specify that out here to the left and now it's pasted a elevation for me. Now these, uh, these sections and elevations are just blocks. So if we wanted to, we could copy these. We could come back over here to our layout where these could be pasted. Um, so I'm just pasting all of them. Uh, I'll move one of these uh, section cuts here that I did. Now, once you have it here, what you can do is you can run the explode command And what we'll do is we'll run that twice on this. And now you'll see that this section that I cut is basically just an editable CAD file now. Um, so now that I've exploded it twice, I can go in here and edit all the members. So you can begin to cut this section down and clean it up to, to your specific needs for your, for your project. And we could do the same thing for that elevation. We could explode that a few times. rerun that command. And now that I've done so, this is all editable. Um, so I can delete out studs. I can, you know, kind of chop this down and edit it up to what I need. Um, this is kind of nice because you can clean these up. Uh, once you clean these up, you can begin to add section notes. So you can call out stud profiles. You can call out plate profiles. Um, you can add detail bubbles for, for details and things like that. And then you can begin to add sections, details, things like that, and turn this fabrication set of drawings into, uh, like I said, a set of shop drawings that could be submitted for review. Thank you for watching today and have a great day. Regards.